Hey YouTubers, it's Mr. Reef Buster. Um, I'm back. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, the reason is that not much has been happening with the tank. Um, so I'm back uh, with a new video today. Um, if you guys seen my previous video, I did mention that I wanted to add a sump to the tank. Uh, I think it's about time that I add a sump. Um, to my tank to take it to the next level. So today's video is going to be about that I'm, gonna, I'm adding a sump to my tank and the reason it took so long Because I had to do my research on the tank or on the sump um, to see which kind of um, Sump system I would go with Which product I would order and also I actually had to wait for the sump for quite a long time to get here So the sump is here I'm going to show you guys uh, the overview the installation um, the refugium part of it, how to set everything up, the plumbing, I'll go over everything from the, from the beginning to the end. So we're going to do all that in this video, so it's going to be a long video, so brace yourselves, uh, have some patience. I'll, I might make some mistakes in the process, uh, bear with me. Um, before we start, I want to take a quick time to give a shout out to a special uh, fan. Um, she's been following my channel since day one. She's been, she loves my videos and she told me a long time ago to give her a shout out on my channel. I never had a chance because I've made a video in the past couple of months. So I want to take this time uh, to give a shout out, a special shout out to Emily. Uh, I love you. Thank you for watching my videos and liking my videos. Uh, I'll see you soon. So with that taken care of, let's jump into the, the main video. I'm going to be unboxing the sump, show you guys what it looks like. I haven't seen it myself, so let's jump into it and see what happens. So here's the sump. Just cut open the box. It's created by Windrider Creations. Um, notice it says glass outside. Glass on the side. Let's see, let's take a look. I haven't opened it inside, just cut open the box. So we can take a look inside, see what, how everything is. at it it's actually acrylic it's not really glass so I'm gonna take it out of the box the box and take a look show you the, the whole stuff so here we go now that's out of the box so the whole thing is made out of acrylic um, I was expecting glass but I guess uh, acrylic is a better option uh, I'm sure they said it on their website when I purchased it from Amazon that it will be made out of acrylic. I probably ignored that part, so I was expecting glass, but acrylic is fine. It's just a little harder to work with. Um, so the size of this sump is 24 by 15 by 15. Um, not sure how the dimensions of each individual chamber. It has the three chambers. As you can see from the side so what I'm gonna have to do right now is I'm gonna fill it up with water make sure there's no leaks on it and then start setting it up um, the first chamber where the protein skimmer is gonna be and everything it's big I was ex I was hoping the middle the refugium section of the sump would be a little bit bigger it's not as big as I would like for it to be, but um, I was hoping it would be a little bit bigger, but we're going to have to make do the way it came. Um, now, like I told you before, I had a problem with these guys on Amazon. Um, took them a month and two days from, for them to deliver this item to me. Uh, they, were, they were giving me a run around, would say the item would come this day. They wouldn't come, they would call me, I would email them, they would say we'll come the next day, blah, blah, blah. And then finally, it's here, and they give me a $50 discount for the inconvenience. So it's not too bad. Originally, the price of the item was $190. So 
so I paid about buck sixty after it's all said and done. Even though I had to wait a month, more than a month. Uh, but it's worth the wait. And, you know, I just got set set everything up and I'll show you in the rest of the video how everything else goes. Alright, so now we're in the backyard. I'm gonna fill up the sump to see if there's any leakage on it. So here we go. We'll give it a few minutes to fill up. We'll continue the fast forward it. We'll continue the video when it's full. I'm gonna come back right now because I just want to show you guys something. As you can see, the water that is coming into the last chamber, um, there is bubble causing when the water is spilling over the other the middle chamber. What I'm gonna have to do is put some type of foam or that's where I'm gonna put the carbon bags uh, you know to, to, pure, to make the water more clear and everything this this will stop the bubbles from happening uh, as you can see there's a lot of micro bubbles inside the third chamber the last chamber right now so once that happens you know it, it might get sent into the tank you don't want to you don't want that to happen so as you can see it's almost full fold up I want to continue the video I'm not gonna pause it uh, because I want you to see the whole process happening. Uh, I just want to make sure um, There's no water leakage anywhere in the tank. I mean the sump. I'm sorry Because even though I'm sure it was built by professionals these guys um, The company that I got it from are claimed to be uh, Making these kind of sumps for for years and years, but it's man-made so there, there's always gonna be some type of mistake or anything so you want to make sure anytime you buy a sump or any aquarium even you want to fill it with water to see make sure there's no leakage or anything nothing breaks apart because if you start filling it immediately without testing for leakage it's gonna, it's gonna leak onto your house your room wherever the tank is so it's preventive measures that's what all that's what it's all about you always want to take preventive measures make sure everything is done the proper way see the water is all the way full right now i want to see how far we can get into the sun how much water we can put into it supposedly this is this should be about if i remember correctly uh 20 gallons if i'm not mistaken it could be less i'm gonna have to read the um, information about the sump I believe it's 15 or 20 gallons anywhere between that so see the water is all the way up now I'm gonna leave the water at this I'm gonna pause the video so I can turn off the water okay now that I turned off the water pump now let's take a look into the sump and see how everything is you can see there's a lot of air bubbles inside the sump right now I'm gonna have to figure some way to prevent this kind of air bubble from happening now one thing I do notice as you can see I don't know if you can see it here but on the last baffle this baffle right here I do see a little bit of water going in inside the baffle and the glass exterior glass I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem later on uh, maybe the acrylic bond glue they use maybe they didn't use enough glue um, that could be a reason why this is happening um, but other than that there is no leakage so far um, so I'm gonna let it sit like this for a few minutes and then I'm gonna have to take this water out put some fresh water in there clean up the sump because the water that came out of my hose outside is pretty dirty so I gotta clean up the sump again and then start the installation process all right guys now that we're back uh, I'm gonna show you guys the plumbing and all the equipment that I need for the sump to be added onto my tank um, start from the heavy machines first uh, went with the lifeguard quiet one aquarium pump it's uh, model 3000 758 GPH now I checked the the head level on this pump 
before I purchased it. Now, up to four feet head height, uh, I'm gonna get about around 400 GPH. For a little bit over 400 GPH, if we do the math right. Um, but the good thing about this pump is, it can adjust the flow. With this little knob right here, you can adjust the flow of it. So that's a good thing, so, and I'll tell you why the adjusting the flow to decrease it to under 400 GPH with four feet of height is gonna be important because the overflow box that I'm going with is the CPR. And it's gonna be the CS50. The CS50 CPR overflow box is rated for 300 GPH. So, if my outflow from the tank is 300 GPH, can't have 400 going inside because it's going to overflow the tank. So that's why I got this where I can adjust um, the speed of the pump. I don't have to get a check valve, not a check valve, I don't have to get a, actually a check valve to control the water flow. And check valves are not good because they do reduce the power of um, the pumps so they actually decrease the lifespan of a pump so you don't want to use a check valve unless you have no option try to get the proper try to get the pop proper pump with the proper GPH now let's get to the plumbing oh the refugium light the refugium light that I'm going with uh, you don't see it because I already have it installed on the sump I'm going with the Microsun waypoint clamp light now it's a very good light 6500 uh, K this is what it looks like. It's not hard to find on the internet. You can easily find it if you want this one. Um, it's it's the one with one watt LED lamp. So it has eight LEDs. So it's about eight watts. Eight watts, 6500K. That's what you need for a sum if you want to get the proper algae growth. Now, plumbing wise, I went with hard plumbing on the tank from the to the sump and from the sump the return to the tank it's gonna be it's gonna be vinyl tubing so it's half and half I'm going both um, now for the return I'm using three quarter inch uh, braided vinyl tubing and make sure I got this from Home Depot so make sure when you guys go to purchase it you get a three quarter inch ID not one inch OD so make sure you follow by this according to your pump because on the pump this this vinyl tube is going to go to the pump and this pump it comes with two adapters that you could hook on um, so you can hook on the you know the braided tubing so it goes there with the tubing on it I'll show you guys that later I'll show you how, how I hook everything up and for the return into the Aquarium main display. I'm I went with the CPR Aquarium return kit with the flow nozzle. So this is the the return nozzle. Now they do give you three quarter inch regular tubing, but I went with vinyl. It's more durable. It doesn't bend easily. So and we're not going to be using these. Now they also do give you two hose clamps. We're not gonna be using those. I purchased my own hose clamps as you can see. Um, now, for the hard plumbing, three quarter inch PVCs, I had them pre-cut. And now let's get to how we're gonna be connecting everything. As you can see, when you're connecting the PVCs, you're gonna need two important things. You're gonna need primer and you're gonna need PVC cement. Now, a lot of people call it glue. That's where I got confused. It's not really glue, it's actually PVC cement. Now, Home Depot has this in a kit called the Handy Pack. So you get both. I think it was $9, $9 and change. So use this one. I'll show you what that later on. Now let me just go over really fast what each of these things are. Now this, this Y, 
valve is a George Fisher Y valve. I got all these plumbing, to, you know, supplies, everything from uh, Bulk Reef Supply. Shout out to them. They were very helpful. Uh, they were on the phone with me. They told me exactly what I needed for the type of plumbing I want to do. Now, these two things you're looking at are Schedule 80 Union Slip. You're gonna, I'm going to use this to connect the check valve with the vinyl tubing. Uh, the purpose of this is so in case I lose electricity, uh, I'm not going to have a back siphon going into the sump because you don't want that. So this will prevent the back siphon and this is going to go with the vinyl tubing from the, from the sump to the tank. Um, two elbows, 90 degree elbows, and a couple of ratchet clamps and that's about it now I'll show you how each of these things are gonna connect to each other this way you guys know what you're doing because when I started research to do this plumbing for the sump I had a really hard time so I'm gonna put everything together not put it together I'm just gonna lay it do a do a layout this way you can see how which goes where and why you need which you know each of these little equipment because I didn't think I needed all this stuff, but apparently you do. So I'll show you guys why. I'm going to pause the video. I'll set everything up so you see which goes where. All right, now that we're back, I'm going to show you how which goes where and how you're going to be connecting everything. So start from the top. You have your overflow box. On the overflow block box on the bulkhead here, what you're going to do is what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the primer and the clay which is also called the PVC glue to connect the pipe to the bulkhead of the overflow box and from down there what is going to come down to here 90 degree elbow same thing primer glue primer primer glue primer glue come down go inward this point is under going under my tank so it's going to go under my tank and right down to the sump. The sump is going to be right here. Imagine the sump is going to be right here. It's going to be pointing the water is going to be coming down into the sump, the first chamber. Now we go all the way to the end, the last chamber. The power head is on the last chamber. You're going to use a clamp hose to hook the vinyl tubing to this, the power head top. You're going to be doing the same thing. Now this is this is where all the other stuff that comes into handy so the union the schedule 80 union is going to be connecting the vinyl adapter tube adapter tubing to the schedule 40 to the check valve you cannot directly add the vinyl tubing into the schedule 80 or you can't directly add the tubing into the check valve you need to be using an adapter schedule 80 uh, union and then into a Y check valve so this is what it's gonna look like hooked up so after the water comes up through here you're gonna connect these two and then from here you're gonna use the rest of the way up it's gonna be using more vinyl tubing all the way up to the top of the aquarium, this is where the vinyl tubing is going to connect with clamps. You can make sure every, every single connection with the vinyl tubing, you use the vinyl tubing clamp, the hose. Hose clamp. So you're going to use that and the water is going to come out to that way. So this is the basic setup. Now, I will show you the video once I'm done. The next scene you're going to see is the sump setup. I don't know if I'm going to put water in right away, but I might. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. But uh, you're going to see the complete finished product today in this video. Alright, so now, as you can see, I'm done gluing all the plumbing and fitting the hose, uh, bar the barbed hose, everything properly connecting everything to the equipment. Now, only thing I have to wait is for 24 hours for the fittings to connect um, bond properly with each other especially the hard plumbing uh, so that's what I'm waiting for I just want to show you guys the sump empty right before I'm gonna fill it up to in a couple of hours 24 hours um, it's all gonna be in one video so I'm just gonna edit it out and tomorrow I'm gonna add the water the miracle mud which I already 
have ready ecosystem miracle mud uh just i think it's a 10 pound bag just one bag is enough it's gonna go right in the middle and for you know earlier in the video i didn't i couldn't show you guys the refugium light i'm using that's the waypoint uh refugium light as you can see it's pretty pretty bright very bright um you see the return pump is there i got the barb hose uh, connected to it i'm going to show you the white check valve in the back in, in a little bit i just want to show you how the plumbing is going to come in see that's the two 290 degree elbows to bring the water right into the first um chamber now we're going to go to the back and show you how the back looks like now on the back as you can see the overflow box is right here I'm gonna hang on the back it's still running I'm gonna keep it running for two weeks uh, meanwhile I'm gonna be ordering an in sump uh, protein skimmer so the hang on the back back is gonna run for two weeks while the sump uh, gets gets uh, you know accumulated uh, acclimated I mean and the sump and the aquarium water mixes properly and my canister filter is gonna be running for two weeks as well while the sump uh, acclimates now as you can see with the hang on the back I did the plumbing the hard plumbing it's going straight down right into it I did not want to do that 90 degree elbow because uh, this kind of decreases the flow going down but I couldn't push, push the refusion all the way back so because the pipe could go directly into it I had uh, you know because of real estate issue problems so couldn't do it had to do the 90 degree elbow so that's about it I'm gonna pause the video at this moment uh, before I do that I want to I want to show you guys the check valve the check valve if you look carefully it's right here there's a check valve now let me it's not fully connected so you can see the check valve is right there so the barb comes up connects to the bottom of the check valve and then you know this pipe then on the top go back to the whole barb hose fittings come up to the YouTube return nozzle and it goes right inside there now this is not a permanent position because tomorrow I'm gonna be finishing up rest of this the return part but just want to show you where the check valve and the how you connect the hose barb hose into the the Y check valve and everything so that's about it next time you're gonna see the sump filled up and ready to run now, as you can see the sump is up and running I just finished um, installing the whole thing the water is running uh, I just want to show you guys a quick video because uh, I want to finish this video up and I'll do a part two uh, where I'll talk about and I'll give you an update on my sump so this will be the last part of the the whole sump into my aquarium edition um, just gonna, gonna go over the setup really fast show you how I did everything now as you can see my hang on the back skimmer I brought it down from the top into my sump the reason I did that because I want both protein skimmers in the sump I don't want anything on my display tank anymore I'm tired of all that clutter behind the aquarium I'm gonna be ordering another in tank sump uh, a protein skimmer for my sump I'm kind of torn between uh, bubble magnus or a reef octopus the one on the back right now is a uh, hang on the back is a uh, Reef, oct reef oct octopus right now so it's pretty good uh, but I want to do some more research as to which one is going to be better the bubble magnus or the reef octopus uh, so that's going to take about a week or so to get here until then I'm just going to keep this running as it is now as you can see the return line from the overflow box there's a significant amount of bubbles right now and I'm going to have to figure something out to eliminate those bubbles some of the bubbles are in the refugium area as you can see I got the miracle mud in there I got a piece of live rock uh, I took it from a display tank put it in there 
I'm still waiting for the for the Cato for the Cheto to come in in mail and I got a whole bunch of um, uh, Coco Cocoa Pods and Apple Pods I ordered online from the internet um, so I'm waiting for those to come and I had to put in a, a foam to you know trap the bubbles and the debris from the from the miracle mud because I didn't want it to go into the last chamber some of it already got there before I put in the foam pad but it's not nothing major nothing crazy as you can see the refugium light is doing its job it's very bright in the refugium section some of it is it is going into the first uh, first area but it's nothing major it's not bad if it is I'll figure something out to you know make sure the light only goes into the middle um, middle section uh, so I'm gonna let's go up top show you how everything is running up top and up top as you can see the CPR CS50 overflow blocks is up and running um, have it all the way on the left side of my tank if you look over you can see the return nozzle right there right on the other side um, the two black tubing in the middle that you see though that's for my um, that's for my cancer filter that's gonna be those will be there for the next two weeks until my sump is fully established uh, I'm gonna take that thermometer off tomorrow and put it into the sump I'm really tired right now just want to finish finish it up very decent flow the flow rate uh, is accordance with the flow rate of the CPR overflow box so I'm very satisfied, satisfied with the product um, it's a little challenging but I'm glad it's up and running as you can see I got the Tom's uh, aqua lifter and that's what you're gonna need to get the siphon started and continue run continuously on the CPR otherwise what you're gonna have to do is once after you start the siphon you're gonna have to block off this little nipple that's sticking out from the CPR overflow box you have to block that off to keep the siphon running because if there's nothing blocking it the siphon will break and then you're gonna overflow your tank I kind of did that when I was in the middle of the uh, process of setting up the sump so I had a hiccup but everything is good um, inside the tank it's really dirty right now I'm gonna clean it up tomorrow and you know when I do my update on my sump you'll see the tank in, in daylight right now it's night so everything is shutting down uh, right there is the return line the vinyl tubing there's the Y check valve and the water is getting in I haven't decided if I want this um, the duck, duck lip to be over the water or underwater I'm gonna test it out for a couple of days and then we'll go from there to see which way I want to go with this duck lip for the return um, so there it is guys I uh, hope this video was helpful if you have any questions leave a comment if you see that I did anything wrong let me know in the comments and like I said in a couple of weeks I'm gonna do a update on the sum let you guys know how everything is going um, until the next until next time take care